Hello guys, welcome to Visaya. How much does it cost to make safer oil? Just think for a second, most of you were probably sitting next to a thousand explosions this morning. The engine in your car, your motorcycle, or a space shuttle is an explosion machine converting the boom of fuel into emotion. This motion takes you from point A to point B every day. For more than 150 years, we have, we have been producing and consuming fuel, but our thirst for black gold has not slowed down. There's a whole ocean of oil under our feet. No one can get at it except for me. But how do you make sure that this liquid, this gasoline, is safe? Some months ago, I came across a short film called The Shutdown. It tells a story about an accident in a hydrocracker in 1987. It was in Grangemouth, working on BP's hydrocracker refinery on Friday the 13th, that my father was almost killed. Describes how maintenance operations in refineries are performed. You should really check it out. I will drop the link below. Fortunately today, refineries are implementing instrumentation and automation tools in order to avoid any accidents. These instruments are measuring each step of the process, from catalyst, maintenance, transport, and storage. The oil is processed at extreme conditions. Catalytic reactions occur at pressures above 200 bar and 450 degrees Celsius. Nowadays, there are pressure transmitters, temperature multipoint systems, that are able to measure the reaction process. Overfill is a problem in tank farms, and level switches forks are used to avoid overfill that may harm workers or the environment. Actually, in the past years, refineries are using optical laser technologies to do gas and liquid analysis on all refinery byproducts to prevent nasty contaminants like sulfur and waxes from harming our planet. For its automation suppliers are creating new devices that are capable of self-diagnose and communicate, allowing more efficient processes and safer fuels that will take us further, faster. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.